we are uh, now demonstrating this board called as an RFL RFT, RF Trainer Kit. And this is the board for talking about the all kind of transmission channel. In the, our uh, two videos, we already demonstrated open air and coaxial. Now we are going to demonstrate this section. This model is called as a microstrip line. Microstrip line is a very popular model for uh, even all um, these days uh, for the, your high frequency transmission channel. This is a very efficient transmission channel. You can see this is the only a uh, strip is there. Uh, this strip uh, basically you can look at the back side also. There is an only one strip is there and which is connected to from port 1 to port 2. And this port 1 to port 2, uh, this uh, strip width is uh, 3 mm, which is matched to the 50 ohm. Basically, if the width is uh, smaller, automatically your impedance is, go is going to be higher. Means if the width is uh, say 1.5 mm, at that time your impedance shifted upward side, like 75. If you go for 0 0.8 mm, automatically your uh, impedance width is go up to very high, like 100 ohms. Means in the USB type of connector, generally if you see the track, the track width is uh, matched to the 100 ohm. That's why they are very smaller in the thickness. If you go for the lower thickness, uh, uh, lower the thickness, greater the impedance. If you, the thickness is going to be higher side, definitely your impedance is going to be shifted at lower side. This 3 mm is matched to the basically 50 ohms. Uh, in our manual, you can refer for the formulas, for the detailed formulas, how to calculate the impedance 50 ohms or for the, our PPT. Uh, this is the FR4 board with a 1.6 mm thickness. This side is a plain ground and this side is a, actually the active side. We call it as a strip side and this is your ground side. So now we connect our connectors. The, uh, we here calculate the S21, uh, basically the measurement. We can also calculate the S12. So, if you remember in our coaxial line or in the open wire, in the open wire we are getting the loss minus 90 dB. When you come to coaxial, that is minus 10. But at the same frequency band, even more than that, we are energizing 10 megahertz to 2 gigahertz. This line is very efficiently giving the uh, losses. Even this loss is 3 dB maximum and minimum is 0 0.5 dB. So, very, very few loss is offered by such kind of microstrip transmission line. These lines are very efficient from, from, from the lower frequency side to higher frequency side. The bandwidth is very high and uh, uh, you are getting optimized insertion loss. S21 loss is very optimized. So, even if you check S12, so for S12 checking, what I have to do? I have to connect my port energizing port at the second because I have to excite the port number 2 and detect the power at first port and this means called as an S12. So same plot you are observing for the S21 and S12. So there is an exactly they are symmetrical property uh, in this transmission channels uh, at the same for the coaxial at the same for the open air. So, in this experiment, we are comparing our losses of the channel to coaxial and to the open and S12 and S21 property. Thank you.